South Sudan sacked Vice President Riek Machar has lost a key ally. Ethiopia says he's no longer welcome in its territory. CCTV's Girup Chala has this update. Ethiopia's Prime Minister Haile Mariam Desale made this statement in an interview with U.S. media this week. He says Machar will be allowed short-term visits to Ethiopia or travel through. But the days of long-term stays are over. Officials here tell me the decisions are based on a policy that bars residents to anyone promoting armed struggle back home. It also signals the government here has run out of patience with Bashar. Bashar had been a member of South Sudan's unity government, but he fled Juba in July following clash between his troops and the presidential guard. Ethiopia's decision is a blow to Bashar's attempts to rally support. Bashar lived in Addis for weeks at a time during the recent civil war and used it as his base. Mashar is currently in Sudan's capital, Khartoum. Groomed Allah CCTV, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.